Everyone deals with depression in different ways. Some try to handle it by themselves while others get help. We're not telling you that you can fight depression on your own, but there are definitely certain things you can do for yourself that could help massively. Here are 10 self-care ideas that you might want to try. Journaling. You might be surprised at how big of an impact this can have. Many studies have looked at journaling as a way to fight depression, and the results are very promising. Journaling forces you to reflect, and it helps you get things off your chest, even if you're just admitting things to yourself. Reconnect with a friend. Even if you have no desire to get out and talk to people, you should probably at least make an effort. Researchers have looked at the most effective strategies for dealing with depression, and actively participating in your own social life is a very beneficial tactic. Humans are social animals, so we actually need a community of some kind. Comfort food. Certain foods and diets definitely have a strong effect on depression. You could choose to go super healthy, and that definitely helps with your state of mind, but you might be surprised at the antidepressant qualities of various foods, including chocolate, which has serotonin boosting qualities. Tea and even coffee are actually great for fighting depression, and this is backed by numerous studies. Humor. We've all heard that laughter is the best medicine. Well, that might not be too far from the truth. Humor is actually a great way to deal with depression. Watch a funny movie, see a stand-up comedian, do whatever makes you laugh. Laughter releases endorphins and decreases stress hormones, among many other benefits. St. John's Wort. We all know that antidepressants are one of the most common ways to deal with depression. These are special medications prescribed by professionals, but some might want something a little more natural. If this is the case, then St. John's Wort is definitely an option. This natural herb has proven effectiveness against mild depression, although it won't do much more for severe cases. Physical activity. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. Time and time again, studies have shown that regular, rigorous exercise is one of the best ways to fight depression. Exercise releases endorphins, which are natural feel-good chemicals in the body. Seeing the physical changes in our body after a hard workout is a great mood booster as well. There's really no downside to getting a little exercise done, and you're pretty much guaranteed to feel pretty good afterwards. Bibliotherapy. Another proven method of dealing with depression is bibliotherapy. Although the word might sound complicated, it's actually pretty simple. Bibliotherapy is the use of books in therapy. This is probably one of the most popular self-guided forms of therapy out there, and it has a great track record. Usually, there is an initial consultation with a professional therapist, and then the patient uses a book to guide themselves along their therapy journey. The book instructs the patient on how to improve their mood, deal with depression, and conquer anxiety. One thing to keep in mind is that it's only recommended for those with mild depressive symptoms. Yoga. A few different studies have examined how yoga can help with depression, and they've come to the conclusion that it can be very effective. Some would say that yoga is just another form of exercise, but in truth, it's more than that. Many people describe yoga as a kind of meditation in motion. It can be spiritual in nature, and it can also be very introspective. The results speak for themselves. Meditation. Meditation might just be one of the oldest self-care techniques in history. People have been meditating for thousands of years, and the effects of this practice are well documented. The aim of meditation is to attain inner peace, which makes it a perfect strategy for combating depression. One of the most popular methods for dealing with depression these days is mindfulness, which is a type of meditation which focuses on being of ourselves, our thoughts, and the people around us. Numerous studies have examined the effects of this on depression, and it has proven to be quite effective. Put simply, it gives us greater appreciation of our own lives. Massage therapy. It's always good to treat yourself to a nice massage. But if you're trying to pursue a lifestyle of self-care, then you might want to seriously consider massage therapy. We left this method until last for a reason. Massage therapy is only loosely linked with decreased depressive symptoms. It won't cure depression, but it will decrease stress levels. And hey, getting massaged is never a bad thing. What are some self-care techniques that you do to fight depression? 
let us know in the comments below.